Hello there. Well, today's devotion, the theme is rest, rejoice and run. Now, I'm going to read a few verses from Psalms 125. I actually enjoy reading these Psalms 121 to 131. They're called the Song of Ascents. They're like these really short Psalms with, with themes. And uh, here's what it says in Psalm 125, verse 1. Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion which cannot be moved, but abides forever. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people from this time forth and forever. And many times when we think of the mountains, probably we're thinking of the Himalayas, or some of us are thinking of the hills of Igatpuri. But the point is, you know, just as the Mount of Zion, just as the mountains, sorry, just as the mountains would surround Jerusalem, so the Lord would surround his people. You know, what a just beautiful picture of protection. And I believe uh, that's the place that we can just rest, you know, just rest in the Lord. Uh, how amazing it is that every morning when we wake up, the first thought we can have is, God loves me. I mean, Jesus loves me. Without me doing anything, without me uh, completing certain tasks that could make me eligible for his love. No, no, no. I just wake up in the morning and you just wake up in the morning and you can just say, thank you, Lord, that you love me. You know, we begin from this state of rest and in this rest, we just rejoice in the Lord. Then after that, you know, we look to the Lord in this uh, place of rest. And in Psalms 123, verse 1, this is what it says. Psalms 123, verse 1. Unto you I lift up my eyes, O you who dwell in the heavens. Behold, as the eyes of the servants look to the hand of their masters, as the eyes of a maid looks to the hand of her mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord until he has mercy on us. I mean, when we look to the Lord, uh, what do we see? Some people are always afraid that they will see a God who is angry at them, a God who is with a cane. But no, when we read the Bible, when we look to the Lord, it says beautifully in Ephesians chapter 2, uh, verses, verses 5. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 5, it says this. So if you could just go Ephesians 2, verse 4. It says, but God who is rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together with Christ by grace, you have been saved. So when we lift up our eyes and look to the Lord, whom do we see? Well, we see a God who is rich in mercy. I mean, isn't that just so comforting to know that God is rich in mercy? then he is great in love with which he loved us. And then he's a God of grace because verse 5 says, by grace you have been saved. Oh, uh, rich in mercy, great in love, and by grace we have been saved. And that's why when we begin from this point of resting in the Lord and rejoicing in the Lord, then we can begin our day and, and run, you know, it says in Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 that those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. Then it says they shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. And oh, how beautiful it is that we can go from resting, rejoicing and running when we realize that it is God who loves us, that he surrounds us just as the mountains surrounded Jerusalem, that God surrounds us with his love. And we begin our day and just go through the day knowing that we have a God who loves us. And we pray for opportunities that we can tell others about this great God and about his great love. Have a wonderful day ahead. God bless.